Hello, y'all. Uh, my name is Ulysses Alvarado Romero. I am a tutor on YZAP. Um, and today I'm here to guide you through this uh, physics problem. All right. So, in this physics problem, a frustrated physics student blows up her physics textbook. Uh, you know, I've wanted to, do, well, maybe we all want to do that at some point. Uh, it breaks up into three different pieces. Uh, so, these three different pieces, right, they all carry some uh, momentum, right, because the point of this problem is to find the momentum for, for the first part, right? So before, nothing happens. After, well, uh, we pull, uh, blow up into a couple of different pieces. Uh, the first piece um, with a mass of 0.2 kilograms with a velocity of 20 meters per second. The second piece with 0.1 kilogram with a velocity of 30 meters per second. And the important relationship to note from reading this problem, right, is that we are uh, the, uh, that the second piece is, is went off 90 degrees to the first one. So it has to be some relationship where it's 90 degrees or orthogonal to this, right? Okay, cool. Uh, and if we figure this works out the way we have oriented it. All right, so we get into the problem, right? What is the moment of the first piece? Well, before it's not moving. So we can figure out the initial momentum is zero. After, well, we have three pieces flying off. So we can assume that there are three momentums associated with each piece. And for the first part, we're asking us to find the third piece, which uh, of which we have no information of. All right, we don't we don't know anything out, uh, about it except for the other two pieces associated with it. But what's cool is momentum and any kind of you know, collision, technically you know, the, this explosion is a collision, um, always can serve. So using this, right, mathematically, you can see that the third momentum is a uh, negative of the sum of the first two. Right. Makes sense. This ends up becoming um, negative four, or say well, four uh, kilograms per meter second plus three kilograms per meter second. Right. Take the mass and then the velocity, multiply together. That gives you four. Take the mass and the velocity, multiply together. That gives you three. Right. And then this become this is gives us a value of negative seven kilograms per meter second. Right. Makes sense because mathematically, uh, these two right, the sum of this has to be this has to give us zero as well. Before and after the equivalent. All right. Uh, from there, we go off until the uh, third, uh, second part of the problem, which says if the mass of the third piece were uh, 0.15 kilograms, so now that gives an actual mass, what is its velocity right after the explosion? Well, we can solve that out pretty uh, easily. Knowing that momentum is equal to the mass and the velocity, well, we know that this uh, third piece has a momentum, and now we have the mass the velocity we're going to solve for. So P3 equals uh, M3 times V3, right? We know uh, momentum for this. We just solved it up here, right? We know the mass. They just gave it to us. So all I have to do is take the quotient. And negative seven kilograms per meter seconds over uh, 0.15 kilograms. Sure. Uh, always in three or six, and three six, six uh, let's say it is negative 46.7 meters per second, the velocity of the surface, which makes sense because this thing is flying off in this direction. It should be, it makes sense that it's negative. You know, if we call going to the right positive and going up uh, positive, Right, and the, uh, the axis, because this is all in one plane, this is not the 3D, this is just in the same plane as, it's, as it states in the problem. Um, this would be in the negative quadrant, so it would make sense that it's going uh, in that direction. And uh, relatively, uh, the velocity uh, is comparatively the same to, oh, well, much faster than these two, but uh, within the, a range. So this does, work as our velocity. Alrighty.